Yo, welcome back. Ah! No, you missed me. What's going on, buddy? Cold Star Green. Bad you another video today. Yo, your first time finding my channel. Y'all make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, like the video. All my links are down below if you want to get in contact with me. But today, I'm going to be talking about the new episode, the season finale of For Life. I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys. Now, I am working off of a new computer. My old computer kind of got messed up, so I had to take it in the shop and get it redone. But whatever, bro. So, if you, I'm sorry, there hasn't been reviews for other For Life episodes. Because, I don't know, I kind of got bored with it. I, I don't know, I just wasn't having fun reviewing the show anymore. But I came back today for the season finale, and I'm not going to lie, I didn't know what the hell was happening, because what, what what happened here? I came back to this dude, Aaron Wallace, having a busted-ass head. I was like, wait a minute, what, what did I miss? <laughs> I was like, yo, what I miss? How did, how is this dude's head so busted open? And somebody told me, oh, 50 Cent did it or something like that. I was like, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, today's episode, dude, Aaron Wallace, bro. Uh, Y'all know the dude's dope, bro. Y'all already know that guy is freaking dope. I uh, love his actor, love the character. Um, he's the reason why it's been keeping me going forward. Right, we why I came back because I really wanted to see what was gonna happen to him. Now I do have to say. There's a huge complaint I have in this damn show. Um, and it don't really make a lot of sense, but it's this dude right here, bro. What's this guy? I think I got to tell me this dude's name, bro. This dude, I'm going to go off on a little rant real quick, yo. This dude is literally evil for nothing. Everything is for nothing. Like, unless I might have missed something that somebody got to tell me about, why does this dude have a vendetta so hard against Aaron Wallace? It doesn't really even make any sense to me. Now, if they come out and they're like, oh, well, this dude was at the same nightclub as Aaron Wallace. The night Aaron Wallace got arrested and he didn't want himself shown. And the only way he can get all of this off of him is to say that, uh, just to keep Aaron Wallace in jail. Then I get his motivation for hating Aaron Wallace's character. But when you are just, like, going around and just being evil for absolutely no reason... I, at least for me, I need motivation behind that. I need to know why you're so evil. What are you doing? Why, what did Aaron Wallace ever do to you? But it's just like, God damn, what you just evil for no goddamn reason? Um, next thing I want to say. Um, so what happens in this episode is that Aaron Wallace is uh, fighting his, about goddamn time. But yeah, he's fighting his own trial. And what goes through that trauma, go ahead and drop a little spoiler. Um, he actually wins at the end. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> but I saw that he actually won. And I think he's getting like a retrial that might go actually in his favor. So, I mean, that's really, that's going to be dope to see in the next season. Um, now, another thing I did see, I don't know if it's in the trailer at all. But Aaron Wallace's roommate, somebody got to tell me about what the hell happened. Um, Aaron Wallace's roommate... I saw got beat up. Now, I guess this is all connected to, like, 50 Cent's character, all that. Somebody got to tell me about that part. But I'm just here to review today's episode. Um, now, what I want to talk about is the end of the episode. You know, the, like I said, he won his trial. Um, shout out to this judge right here, man. He, he uh, helped him win the trial, all that. But I really want to know, man, wh where do you go from here, you know? You have somebody that has all the power in the world and that can, you know, literally ruin your life. Like he's been ruining his life the last freaking couple of episodes, right? So I really want to see, yo, for life, what are you going to do now? How are you going to progress this? Now, I don't know. Somebody got to let me know, bro. Is 50 Cent dead or is he still in the ep and these episodes? What the hell happened to his character? Because I don't know what the hell happened. But at least for season two the big thing is we need this guy to have motivation bro that at least coming from me or at least i haven't seen it i don't know maybe i skipped the episode i didn't i didn't hear about it i didn't see it but this guy needs a little bit more motivation bro because it's like at least from a new time viewer or something he's just going in there being evil for no reason and it doesn't make any sense to me now i did see that um his daughter got pregnant so i mean that's Oh, well, this ain't this ain't his daughter, but <laughs> that that's not her. But you know, y'all you know what I'm you know what I'm getting at. So that's I mean, it would be cool, pretty dope to see where they go from there. Um, I would like to hear you guys' thoughts on the episode, man. What do you guys think? Uh, was this a really good episode? Was it bad? Could it have been better? I would love, love, love to hear you guys' opinions on this. Oh, here's his daughter right here <laughs> while I'm messing around. But um, as a new time viewer, as somebody that was coming back to watch these episodes you know what man it got me back into it i'm starting to really love for life 
once again, man. I look, man. I'm giving this episode an eight out of ten, y'all. I really, really, really enjoyed this week's episode, even though I didn't know half of the crap that was going on. I still enjoyed it. I think you guys. I would love for you guys to give um your recommendations, not recommendations, but your reviews. To be, I want, I want a full review from you guys. Did you guys like it? Did you not guys not like it? Did you like the Did you like the cliffhanger at the end of the episode? What? I would like to know you guys' opinions. Like I said, first time viewers, y'all make sure you hit that subscribe on the video. Yeah, I give I'm giving it an eight out of ten, man. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to wait for season two. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace!